Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will demonstrate how to retrieve primary objects and related objects in a single API call using UI Builder and Codeless Logic. To put things in perspective, let's review the data that I have in the database. And in here, there is a table called person with three records, three objects in this table. The columns that uh, I'd like you to take a closer look at are name, age, and most importantly, city of residence, which is a one-to-one -one relation to a table called city. And then for every single person that I have in here, there is one related city. So for instance, for Fred, the related city is New York. And for Joe, the related city is Dallas. And the, the idea is that whenever we retrieve data from this table, we will be retrieving one object. We would like to get that related city in the same API call without going back to the database. So now that you have seen the actual underlying data that we will be working with, let's switch to UI Builder. And I have prepared a page that demonstrates exactly what, uh, what I'm going to be showing to you. Uh, we're going to run this page so you see exactly how it works. And then we'll build this from scratch. And uh, let me run it in a preview. And in here, I can type in person's name. Let's say Joe, click get person. And as you can see, we get the person's name, age, and most importantly, city. And behind the scenes, what happened, there was just one API call that re returned all of this data, the data about the person and the related city. So now that you have seen this working, let's create a new page and we will recreate everything that is happening here. Create new page and we'll call it get person and city. Let's drag a block in here, change the direction of this block left to right, and then add a input component and add a button. The label for this button will be get person the ID get person button, the input component, the label will be person's name, and the ID person name input. Let's also set up data binding for this input. Click logic and then go to value logic and just type in name. So this is going to be the part that retrieves uh, where we can enter the name and then click the button to get the details. And then let's also add another block. And then this block also change the direction. And for this block, let's add three text components. Let's go inside. This is one and we can just replicate this components three times, select the block, and let's distribute the contents using this icon right here. And now select the block and we can change the height because we don't need it to be so tall. And just to make this stand out a little bit better, we can add a border to that block, one pixel solid, and change the background just a little bit. And the background for the block will be somewhere here. There you go, background. Okay, so the idea will be that we get the person and then using data binding, we display the values. But before we start assigning data binding, let's actually go into the get person because that's where the, the core of the functionality, the actual information about how to retrieve related person will be. So uh, the, this input component is bound to, uh, the value is bound to the name property and let's uh, start programming the logic for get person. In here, in the onClick event, what we want to do is we want to retrieve data. So we go to the data API and we use this block load table objects. We're going to be retrieving it from the table called person. And uh, since we have the actual name of the person, we need to structure the actual where clause that will specify it and will instruct the database which object needs to be returned back. The work clause 
can be composed with this create text with which is under text uh, section and then add another item we will need three of them and you will see why and then under text grab this text block and in here it will say name equals we can replicate this to close with a quote and then in here will be the actual name that the user typed in that we can get using the get property block the value of the input is bound to the property name which sits in page data so what happens here is we compose a, what we call a where clause property name is the reference to name column in the person table and then we put it in the single quotes because we are sending string value to the database and string values must be enclosed in single quotes and then the actual value comes from here so this will fetch actually all people whose name is whatever was typed in but what we want is we want also to get the actual city that belongs and is associated with that person in order to do this you will see that there is a connector called relations and relations expects a collection we have only one relation that we want to get so let's leave this only with one connector and then get the text block and in here you will specify the actual name of the related proper property here and it's going to be city of residence so simply by doing this you're instructing the database to say to actually return city of reference related object along with that person and all the properties that are available in that city of ref residence specifically all the columns from the city table will be returned as well as all the properties from the actual person table so now we get this and in fact we can say return only one because we are interested in just one person but keep in mind that load table objects always returns collection so what we need to do is we need to under list use this uh, the first one in list get and then put this into this connector this list that was in there can be deleted and uh, in here we're going to get the first one so what all of this does is it retrieves a collection really collection of one and then we retrieve that one object as an object using this in list get first so this the red box right here returns a single object and let's put this object into page data and you will see why i'm doing this so set property in page data let's call this property person and then the value will be whatever this guy returns whenever blocks get too big what you can do is for any one of them right click and choose collapse and it becomes a little bit smaller or expand and you can actually collapse load table objects and that's much uh, better because we know what's going on in there so now what we have is in page data they will be sitting our person object with the city object connected to it and then the city object will be will be available through city of rev residence property so any column becomes a property with that in mind let's go back to the user interface and establish data binding for these text fields so this one let's go in here let's say it's going to be displaying person's name and in the content what we do is we say person that references the actual person that will be in page data and then we say dot name and that reference is the actual name of the person because name is going to be the name of the column and for the second it will be person dot age now this third one will be the most interesting because this is the related object that's going to be the name of the city so here what we will do is person city of residence so city of ref residence gives us the complete city object that was fetched from the database and then we can reference any column from the city table and i know the name of the city is going to be the column name capitalization is important if you go to the database you'll see that the city name is uh, 
going to be in the name column that starts with capitalized N. And that's going to be it. So if we go and run this page, I think we had a person called uh, Kate, get person. There you go. We have Kate, 34, Boston. And then if we do the same thing for Joe, there you go, jo Joe, 30, Dallas. Works exactly as we want it. Now, you might be curious, what's actually going on in the wire? What is it that the database re returning? So if you right click and open inspect, switch to network, let's make this a little bit larger, and then let's refetch that Joe. Click get person. And this is going to be our API call right here. And I know it is because it's going to be the get operation. So if you click this and then go into response, this is what the server returned. And if you go to preview, you see it is a collection of one. This is our person, age, name, object ID. And here's our city of residence with all the properties of that related city. We have district, we have name, we have population, everything that is available in the related city object is going to be right here. So you can start using this data using exactly the same principle that I demonstrated in your application. I do hope you, that you found this useful. Thank you for watching this video, guys. And as always, happy codeless coding.